Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of St. Pedro Bautista and Mickey Paul. Paul, Mickey, and companions, Martins. And for that, my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Altogether, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God 
and to you, my brothers and sisters, they have greatly sinned, and my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of all saints, who through the cross were pleased to call the martyrs St. Pedro Bautista and St. Paul, Mickey, and companions to life, grant, we pray, that by their intercession, we may hold with courage, and even until death, to the faith that we profess. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came, and morning followed the first day. Then God said, Let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome, and it separated the water above the dome from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came and morning followed the second day. Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth, and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on the earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed the third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the days and the years, and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night. And he made the stars. God sent them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. 
Evening came and morning followed the fourth day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord be glad in his works. May the Lord be glad in his works. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God. You are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. May the Lord be glad in his works. You fix the earth upon its foundation, not to be moved forever. With the ocean as with a garment, you covered it. Above the mountains, the waters too. May the Lord be glad in his works. You send forth springs into the water courses that wind among the mountains. Beside them, the birds of heaven dwell. From among the branches, they send forth their song. May the Lord be glad in his works. How manifold are your works, O Lord! In wisdom, you have brought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. May the Lord be glad in his works. Please stand. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to the land at Genesareth and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, People immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel of his clock, and as many as touched it were healed. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, as we remember the two martyrs of our church, St. Pedro Bautista, a Franciscan, and St. Paul Mickey and Companions, Jesuits, both missionaries, and their lives were dedicated to uphold and spread the genuine faith that they live out for the sake of Christ, for the sake of of our faith. They were true witnesses of faith that we have right now. Because of faith, we are all doing one direction. The very essence is that to proclaim that faith which Jesus is our ultimate objective and mission. Our readings of today, my dear brothers and sisters, 
tells us of God's proclamation. God shows us of His great power, the power to create, the power to restore, or the power to heal. The power to create, my dear brothers and sisters, that we heard in our first reading of today, the creation story until fourth day, God's power brings to us into reality that we have right now. The earth, the light, the sky, the sea, and the night and day. These are the products of God, God's power for us in order to live, to survive, and above all, to show His presence in everything. He is the author of all that we have at this moment. We have common home, as Pope Francis tells us, and Laudato, Laudato Si. In this way, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the way to reveal to us His completeness. In God's power, there is completeness. In God's power, there is a completeness. Always remember, my dear brothers and sisters, we are here because we are all complete. We are here, our presence, because we are all complete. First of all, my dear brothers and sisters, creation is the true image of God's power and His completeness. He need to keep our eyes and our hearts open through His creation that we are enjoying right now. God is present in all His earthly creatures. That is why His loving presence is within us. In the fulfillment of His beautiful plan, His only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus, whose presence is really among us. Through Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters, we experience the real power of God that is to restore us, to heal us, to complete us every day. Jesus, His mission, His objective for us, always to complete us, always to become whole every day in our journey. My dear brothers and sisters, this is also what we want every day. Maging buo tayo araw-araw. Ayaw natin tayo ay hindi kumpleto o kulang-kulang ang ating mga sarili-sarili. Dahil kung tayo ay kulang, hindi tayo magiging ganap o magkakaroon ng halaga sa ating paglalakbay. Being complete and being whole in the presence of God, we are doing truly what God is telling us every day. Hindi po tayo makakagalaw, hindi po tayo makakakilos kung tayo ay may kulang. At kung tayo ay gumagawa na may kulang, ang isip natin ay hindi nakatuon kung ano ang pupuntahan natin, kung ano nakatuon sa magandang, ma magandang plano ng Diyos. Dahil palagi tayong aligaga, palagi tayong nag-iisip kung paano mapupuno ang ating sarili-sarili. Mother, brothers, and sisters, in our gospel today, the people recognize Jesus. Jesus in our gospel immediately recognized Him. By this recognition, they believe, and through their faith, Jesus is the source of healing, the source of restoration, the source of completeness. Mother, brothers, and sisters, we are telling today, Jesus is their way to restore. And we too, we are cling also 
that our Lord is the way to restore us. Hindi magiging buo ang ating sarili kung wala si Jesus. Kung wala ang Diyos, hindi tayo buo. That is why we are telling every day, recognize Him. Kilalanin mo siya upang totoong ganap ang iyong buhay sa araw na ito. My dear brothers and sisters, to live with wholeness together with the Lord, truly we are doing the right thing. We are the, in the right disposition that we have. This is all our need, my dear brothers and sisters. And we are praying for the completeness through the presence of our Lord. Tanging kay Jesus, tanging sa Diyos, matatagpuan ang tunay na kabuan ng ating mga sarili-sarili. Kung tayo hindi nakakilala at kumikilala sa, sa ating Panginoon, tiyak magkakaroon ito ng kulang o higit sa lahat mayroong kabawasan sa buhay natin. Again, we are telling today, always remember, we are here because God wants us to live among us with completeness. Nais ng Diyos manirahan sa atin, manahan sa atin, sa kabuan ng ating mga sarili-sarili. Jesus is always willing to enter into our human situation kahit saan nandyan ang Panginoon, nandyan ang ating Diyos na mapagtalinga at mapagmahal. He is always moved by tender compassion that compelled Him to restore and to heal. And this is Jesus' action for all of us is not to detach us from Him. Jesus always in action to embrace us, accept us to become one family every day. Jesus is always ready, my dear brothers and sisters, to embrace us for our completeness. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray, mother, brothers, and sisters, to the Father who wants everyone to be healed. He does not reject those who come to Him in need. And every petition we say, Divine Healer, be merciful to all. Divine Healer, be merciful to all. That as a church, we may not close our hearts to the needs of others, but share God's love with everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, healer be, be merciful to all. That we may all work for justice and human dignity, especially for those who are left out by society, including the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, be merciful, be merciful to all. That we as a community may support and uplift one another with the love and gentleness which the Lord has shown us. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all. That those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit may find complete healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, be merciful to all. That the faithful departed may have eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Almighty Father, hear our prayers and make our hearts ready to welcome and love our needy brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring and commemoration of the holy martyrs and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast and confessing your name to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, St. Pedro Bautista, Paul Mickey Companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, on which in our weakness you perfect your power, on the fable bestow strength to bear your witness to Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and each of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you have poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are blessed worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gotten to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Pedro Bautista, Paul, Mickey, and companions, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we are made to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the very source of our life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, only the, say word, the word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be the body and blood of Christ.
please stand. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously doth that drawing strength from this sacrifice, may we cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.